As many of you guys will already be aware, we should only now be maybe a week or so away before we receive a brand new winter update in Royal High. Obviously, the new winter slash Christmas update will likely come with some of the similar things we had in the previous years. But with no actual tea as to whether or not there's going to be a new advent, many people are wondering if we are even going to get the same one as last year. Now, I do imagine we will receive the same advent as before, and so if we do, you guys should be prepared for the idea items you don't already have and think clearly about what you should be trading for before this new update. <laughs> Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B and welcome back to my channel. Before we get started with today's video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and click that bell. And of course, use star code B when buying Robux or Premium. And thank you so much to everybody who uses my star code, it really does mean a lot to me. Now you guys, obviously the advent has been for a long time one of the most exciting periods in Royal High. Usually people get very, very excited about the idea that they're going to get not only a bunch of free items, but something fun to do from the entire month of December. December. Obviously, the first year there were 25 days, and then in the second year there were 30 days of advent. So it was a lot of fun for everybody to get to collect all of the items that came out, and we all had a really nice time. Now, you guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about all of the different items that have been out in the previous advent so that you guys can think a little bit about the items you might have missing, the ones that you need to obtain through probably trading, or of course, in advance of the new update, or at least be looking forward to when the new update comes out. A lot of people, for some reason, don't realize some of these items are actually advent items and are talking about waiting to purchase them, but you aren't going to be able to purchase them because they are advent items, you guys. So let's go ahead and have a look. Now, just as a reminder, these advents came out for separate years, but of course, in 2021, the 2021 advent came back out again so you had an extra chance to win them we might get them both again this year that's right you guys so let's head on over to the royal high wiki so first things first of course we will start off with 2020 the royal high advent that we got first this is the first ever advent that we ever received and this is what it included it also included a rework by the way for ash's skateboard wish upon a star earrings and the royal high helmet those came with the update, but these were the new items. The first day was the Magical Fairy Lights, one of the most common items for Christmas in Royal High now, mainly because anybody who didn't manage to log in on day one because the update was late, they actually put it into a chest so that you could get it, especially for UK people or Australians, etc., who were already in bed when the update came out because it came out late. So that did mean that a lot of people got this accessory. A lot of people got extra ones because of opening the chest on the next day. And just in general, this item is everywhere because it didn't require you to have a friend send you it to get it. You just had to open a chest to get it on, obviously, the second day of the advent. So this is a really common item that you see around Royal High a lot as a result of, obviously, the update being late. Then we have the Snuggly Reindeer Slippers, which came out on day two, followed by the Reindeer Crossbody, which, in my opinion, is one of the cutest accessories we got that year. I absolutely loved that accessory. It is so cute. We then had the Sparkly Candy Cane Ears, followed by the first ever proper dress that wasn't listed in a skirt section in Royal High, the Merry Sparkly Dress. This does not come up in the skirt section, but it is technically a full dress and it goes further down than the baby doll dress, so it's probably one of the only full-size dresses that we ever got back then in 2020. Followed by the glittering Knurl Burrs, the 1,000 diamonds on day seven, sparkly Christmas bell earrings on day eight, the light-up ornament necklace on day nine, which everybody really loved that as well because it's very, very cute. Then, of course, one of the most common items to still see in use throughout the year in Royal High, the personal snow flurry. As you guys know, a lot of people used this early on to try and scam people into believing it was halos, and then people use it also to actually change their halos' colours and stuff back before you could change halos or customise them for those older ones like the glimmering light halo. Then we got the crisp air puffy jacket, something that has become a staple in Royal High. Lots of people use this now to make their winter outfits and of course make outfits that are more casually focused instead of being focused around specific royal fashion. We then got the polar bear beret cap on day 12, the sparkly snowflake skater for day 13, which are wings, then 1,250 diamonds on day 14. The Gone with the Wind headband, which is certainly a popular one, you guys, for day 15. Flower Vines and Beauty for day 16. This is something that I always forget about. I didn't even remember this item existed until just now, to be honest with you guys. 
Then the Warm Winter Lantern, which is very similar to the new lantern that we got for the new Halloween update maze. 1,500 diamonds for day 18. Then on day 19, there was the Winter Wings 2020, the Warm Glittering Clerk Fuzzy Warm Frost Hat, 1,750 diamonds for day 22. Then 23 was the Winter Snow Globe and Towards the Night Before Christmas Wings for 24. And finally, day 25 in 2020 obtained you the Huggly Snuggly Booties. Now, if you managed to get every single item in the advent that year, you also got a badge for completing it as well as the following two items. You also received the Angel Halo and the Angel Wings. They came only if you managed to actually complete the entire advent. There was also the Winter Guardian set, but obviously that was purchasable. And then there was all of the Santa gifts from the year prior. Whew, so that covers 2020. But then when 2021's advent was announced, they announced an extra five gifts going all the way up to 30 days for the advent event that time around instead. In 2021, there was, of course, the badge and the new game icon, followed by the next 30 of the new accessories and four new reworks, which include the fuzzy earmuffs, fuzzy bracelet, Santa hat and reindeer ride. I remember when those were reworked, everybody was thrilled. So, the new update included the following items and it wasn't late. We actually got the update a few days before so we could be prepared for the advent. So this time around, nothing was late. Day one, baby penguin. Then we got the peppermint princess sleeves. This was the beginning of a new set that you would slowly unlock through the advent. The runaway damsel candelabra. North Pearl present skirt, 1,000 diamonds on day five. The good tidings shawl cape on day six, Father Christmas's present bag. The iced gingerbread earrings, 1,250 diamonds. The present disguise, a very popular one. The slay it bodice, which we still all use a lot today. And then the slay it skirt, completing a new set. 1,500 diamonds. Then Aurora's longsword and Aurora's battle axe. I don't really see people use those very often, but if you want to, of course they're there. The elf helper hat, the carol of the elves booties. The lace snowflake stole scarf, which is absolutely beautiful. I really, really love that. Although I don't know if that is the correct image for it. Is it that? Lace snowflake stole scarf. Do I not have it? I did. I've done every single, I have done every single advent. So there is no way that I missed it. I know I have every advent accessory. Hello? I am so confused. What happened to this? It says Lay Snowflake Stole Scarf. Is it still called that? Why don't I have it? Guys, I know I did the whole advent last year and the year before because I got the badges for completing it. Look, look in my journal. If I put it up, we have down here, Completionist 2020. Where's the 2021 Completionist one? Where is it? Where is it? Did we not get a Completionist one for 2021? They're there. Completionist 2021. So where's my, hey, where's my scarf? Where's my Christmas scarf? Did I accidentally trade it away or something? Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on. <gasps> I must have traded it away. I must have given it to someone as a gift. I remember wearing it last year. Well, I need to get one of those again. What the heck? How did that happen? See you guys, this is a very useful video because you can find out items that somehow you're missing. We have the cute carrot nose, the 1,750 diamonds, frozen luggage, polar bear cutie hat, the polar cutie fair leg warmers, ice prince shawl cape, and frozen royalty crown. Now, normally that's where you would finish, that's Christmas day, but they gave us five extras. We got 2,000 diamonds, the Christmas window shopping top hat, the dashing through the snow scarf, Versailles or Versailles, I don't know how you say that, guys, snow powder coat, and the Versailles snow powder bonnet. Then you also got the Santa items and of course the December's Dream set. And once again, if you completed the whole thing, you did receive the Angel Wings and the Angel Halo as a congratulations. Now they also did six new items that were released at the initial teaser update, Lux Elegance Winter Shop, which came with the pageant skirt, the cookie cutter loafers, the fair boa, the frozen fan, the peppermint bodice, and of course the peppermint skirt. So it's like a mini set that came out, if you remember, that was for sale rather than obviously as part of the actual advent. So obviously you guys can go through that and you can find out all of the things that you're missing. Apparently I am missing more than I realized. I don't really know how this happened because I'm pretty sure that every single advent I know that I completed them. So I'm confused as to how I ended up with items missing. And now I'm concerned as to how many others I might be missing as well. So let's have a look together. So we've got the powder coat, we've got all of these. 
I swear, is that the only item I'm missing? Did I accidentally trade it away and never even realize? Because I've never really wondered about advent items because I have so many dupes of most of them. I just never really considered checking you guys. Because look, I have so many duplicates of a lot of them. I never bothered to check. Like, I've got 10 of those. So I think I do. I am missing the lace snowflake doll scarf. What the heck? How did this happen? Is it the only one that I don't have? The only Chris- It is! It's the only Christmas accessory I don't have. What the heck? I definitely completed the advent, so I definitely had it before, but now it's gone. And I like that, and now I want to make an outfit with it just because I know I don't have it, so I need to get it back. What in the world? Anyways, you guys, definitely use this guide and use this video to find out which items you're missing too. Because if I were you, I would go and trade for them ready for the update. Obviously, trading will obviously increase the price of them when the updates come out. So it's definitely a good idea to make sure you get that done nice and early. Now, I really do hope there is another advent this year. Even if we don't get as many accessories as last year, it would be nice if we could get something. But I guess we will have to wait and see. For the time being, though, I would love to know, do you guys think there's going to be a new advent? Do you think we're going to get something new? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I will see you all next time. I hope you have a great day. Love you lots, little beans. Goodbye.